Let's speak now to the mind behind this fantastic invention, Judith Guido Bennett, and she joins us now from Barcelona. Welcome to the program and congratulations. And wow, I think the audience and everybody's just thinking, wow, really incredible. Tell us what inspired you to, to create the Blue Box? Well, thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me here today. So, yes, this is the Blue Box. It's a new biomedical device for breast cancer screening at home. And it is inspired after, well, one event that happened earlier in when I was studying biomedical engineering that I discovered that there was a dog in my hospital that was able to smell patients, and the dog would bark if they had breast cancer. So I thought, if biology, if nature is able to do that, we engineers should be able to replicate it, right? So that's what I tried to do. It's amazing that the, the dog could, could sense this. And tell us how um, life-changing could the blue box be for women who uh, maybe find out about breast cancer at a very late stage or sadly when it is too late? <laughs> Well, breast cancer sadly is present in every home. One every six women will have breast cancer at least once along their lives. But the good news is that if we detect it on time, women can be saved. So the blue box is a new tool that is trying to change the way we are fighting breast cancer. We currently have the mammogram, but a lot of women are skipping it because it's painful and because it's irradiating. So it means that you are, you, you could say you are slightly, slightly causing cancer while trying to prevent it. So we need something different, something that is user friendly, that is not painful, that does not give anxiety to the patient, and some something that finally caters for the needs of every woman in the world. It's incredible. And tell us what happens next. When will it be available? And um... This is really amazing. I read that uh, your plan is to develop the blue box further with the ultimate goal of giving every woman in the world the chance to prevent a deadly late stage breast cancer. So how will you get to this amazing goal? Well, the first step, of course, is to patent it um, broadly in the whole world. Because right now we are starting, well, in the US very soon, but we want to yes, spread in the whole world because we believe that every woman deserves to have access to it. That's the first step. The second step is to further train the blue box because right now it is able to detect um, late stage breast cancer with a classification rate of 95%, but we want to do more. We want to have these good results, but with early stage breast cancer. So with people with very small tumors. And this is possible if we are able to get enough samples to train our artificial intelligence algorithm. And we're going to start doing that very, very, very soon. And Judith, you are 23 years old. Fantastic. Um, tell us, what was the reaction, well, I mean, your reaction, and also among your, your university and the scientific community? Well... Um, it took a few minutes for me to realize that <laughs> I had won because so it all happened one day. I was supposed to have a call with some Dyson engineers, but when I turned on the camera, it was James Dyson itself in the other end of the camera. And he was telling me that he believed in this idea. So it took me a few minutes to realize that that was actually happening because he's someone that I admire so much and he has created this amazing amazing company he has revolutionized the world of technology so far so having these words coming for, from him it was such a true inspiration well, Judith we wish you the best of luck with the blue box and uh, we hope you achieve that goal of uh, bringing one to every woman in the world thank you so much for speaking to us today on TRT World